Hey you guys, it's May May, and today we're doing a really fun punch art project and it comes from this little girl. You guys have been loving quilt cards and I've been wanting to do something sort of iconic and nothing is more iconic than Sunbonnet Sue and we need to make that in paper. So let's do it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to get started is you're going to need a one inch circle punch, a two inch scallop circle punch, and something similar to this. It does not have to be this one. Just something that gives you kind of a shape like this and you'll be able to get creative in your craft room and figure something out to go with that. I promise it won't be hard. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to first punch out something for her dress and I want to use this little plaid. I think this will be super cute for her dress and then you're going to want something for her hat or the main part of her bonnet and I'm going to use that one. Okay, but I also want a second scallop piece because I want to do kind of the coordinating or kind of a fashion look to her little hat. Basically, I want her brim and her little hat to be different. So I cut a second scallop so I can do that. And you'll be able to use these in other ones. You can mix and match everything. So let me show you how we need to treat our punches once we've got them punched. So these two, I'm going to sit aside for a second, okay? And we're going to start with this little guy. Now, I'm just going to use some fussy cutting scissors. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these to be your top center. And that's the one I'm going to use right there, okay? top center. I'll just put my hand here. Then I'm going to come down here and underneath it, I want to find the other center and go over two scallops. So just lined up like this and go over two. And in this one, I'm going to cut to that top center scallop and I will show you what that looks like. I'll lay that down so you can see. So that's what I've done. So we had a center scallop and then we went over two and cut that. Now we're going to mimic that on the other side. I want to leave four scallops for her dress. Okay, so I'm just going to come to the top and just where I just cut, I'm just going to cut to the fourth scallop and I almost messed up already. Let me get there. There we go. I almost went to the third and here we go. This is what we're going to get from this. Okay, now you can use this as the other part of her bonnet, which I'm going to show you how to make in a second or the back of it, what have you. But this is where I want to use this paper. So I'm going to move these away and use them another time or for something else. And I'm going to make the same cut again. And the reason is I'm going to use this to my advantage. So I'll find my center, go over two and make this cut. All right, and then I can do the same thing on this side. I can go one, two, three, four, come right here and make that cut to the top. Now this can be a dress for another little girl right here. I can put that one aside and I can use this now for her little bonnet. I think that's going to be cute. All right, so we've got a dress. Let's put it aside. Let's work on the bonnet. It's so easy. So using that scrap or another one of those pieces, either way you want to go, you're going to pick this guy up and we're going to be working on this scallop and this scallop. All I want to do is cut that scallop in half at an angle. The angle doesn't really matter too awful much, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to put our scissors like this and just angle cut that like so. I'll lay this down so you can see what we just did. So I just took that scallop and cut it at an angle just like that. And I want to do the same thing down here. And you don't have to measure or be precise. It's just a little bonnet. We're just creating a little bonnet. And then to show you what that one looks like. So that's the shape we're cutting here. Now we don't need these two little pieces. I'll get rid of those. And this is how we're going to make the bonnet. This little guy is going to go just like this. And that will be our little Sunbonnet Sue bonnet. It is so cute. Now stick around to the end because we've been making these all morning and I have several samples to show you toward the end. All right, so I'm going to put a little glue there and I'm going to take this little bonnet piece and glue it on just like this. You can go deep on there. You can go shallow on there any way you want to. Just line that up like that. And if you don't like how your little bonnet's hanging off, like I didn't quite get to that center, just come here and just snip again, and you'll have it right to her little bonnet there. All right, now let's look at it with her little body. So there's her little dress. Look how cute she is. Oh my goodness, she's adorable. All right, let's talk hands and feet. Okay, so on this punch, because I'm having to make this work, here's the two I'm going to use. I want to use this medium size flower and this large size flower. So I don't really care if I punch all of them, although I can, it's no big deal. But if you just have a scrap, just make sure you're putting it in where you're getting just those flowers. 
So these I can use as decoration. I can use them for something else on the card if I want to. These are the ones I want to use for her. Now I'm going to use the blue side, which I think is really cute. Let's start with her feet. This is the easiest one to me. So I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to cut this in half right down the middle. And now this one or this one, either one, is going to become her foot. She's only going to have one showing. And what will happen is I will glue this behind her wherever I want that to show. See that little sneaky foot? That's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to cut a petal off. So technically, you could have just got one petal. But I'm doing this because I'm going to glue this in to be her little hand. And I'm just going to tuck it under that hat. But first, let's do a little bit of assembly of her body. So let's glue her foot on. And the beauty of doing this the way we're doing it, we have that whole section to glue. So put a little glue there and then just lay this where you want her foot to show. And your, your little girl's foot may stick out further than mine or be in a different spot than mine. That's no big deal. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to pop her little head up. Now you can't do this with fabric. You know, with fabric we have to sew it all down. But here I can pop it up. And I think that'll be cute. So I'm going to put a little bit of foam there. And later I'll add a little more foam when I put her onto the project. But for now we're just going to do that little bit of foam. And just, you can decide where you want her neck. If you want it higher, lower, you can decide if you want her hat more turned down, more turned out straight, any way you want, you can adjust that, okay? And then this is gonna be your little hand that I'm just gonna tuck under, put a little glue on it. And I'm gonna use my tweezers for this. And just slide this right under here until it feels like an arm. And that works for me. Isn't that cute? So there's our little girl. Now let me show you how I put her on the card. You can do anything you want from here, but this is the way I did it to kind of make it look like a quilt block. So for the next part of my card, I'm going to need four pieces that are one by one. I'm going to need two pieces that are two by one, and then two pieces that are three and a quarter by one. And we'll have all of this information for you in the description and the blog post. Now, in some of my samples, which I'll show you in a minute, I did color back here. In here, I think I'm just going to ink. I want it. I really want this little girl to feel a little bit Little House on the Prairie. That's kind of what I'm going for. So let me show you my plan there. All right. I'm going to start out here on the side and just sort of ink up in the middle. And I'm just using some cookie dough. I just want to lay down a little bit of color. And my edges aren't going to show because all those squares and rectangles we have over here are going to be what goes in that area. But I really just want to concentrate right around here to give this background a little bit of color and kind of leave the middle a little lighter. This will make, this is one of those that you need to see me finish the card before it makes 100% sense. Okay, so to assemble from here, I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to put a dot of glue in this corner and I'm going to start building my card right there with one of my one inch squares. So I'm going to place that here. And this is going to be a one inch border all the way around. That's why I only wanted my color to kind of come in a little bit at that one inch spot. Now this one, one of my floral pieces, I'm going to put it right up next to it going around the card. So this one's going to go right here. And here's a trick for you, okay? When you're laying these out, line up this side of the cardstock and don't worry if it hangs over the edge because we can trim that off and make it look like it's exact. So there's those. And then at the top, I'm going to put a two inch one here. Imagine if you were quilting this, this is sashing and cornerstones. So if you know those, those terms, sashing and cornerstones is what we're adding right here. Another one of our three and a quarter inch pieces down the side. All right, and then I'm going to put this little blue piece in the corner and then one more piece across. Now I could have inked all these pieces. I didn't because I feel like this paper pack has enough of that kind of feel to it that it works and then what I was telling you is if anything hangs off you can just come to the back of the card and trim this away but I think we're good there's very little to trim off there okay now you can make a decision you can decide if you want to put anything inside of here I think I just want our little girl in there look how cute oh my goodness she's adorable in there and I think I'm just going to put a little foam behind her and glue her little body down so just cut a piece of foam. This foam is the same height as the piece I put on her neck. So when I go to place her on the card, this will make her lay level. All right, we'll peel off these backers. Then I'll apply glue to her little dress and place her in the middle. She's so cute. Now I want to add a little embellishment to her hat. 
So these are those teeny tiny buttons that we have from Buttons, buttons Galore. And I took three of the little blue ones out and I'm gonna glue them in that little like floral shape shaping and wait till you see the other ones. You'll get to see all the little embellishments that we've done. Let me bring this up so you can see it. Look how cute she is with her little buttons on her little hat. And now I'm gonna just mount her onto a craft colored card base. I think that'll be cute. Now I'm gonna tell you something about this one. She's addictive. All I wanna do is make her over and over again in different pattern papers, different designs. And the cool thing about that is this would be an amazing gift card set. If you have a friend who is a quilter, sewer, or if you have someone, maybe you make cards for a senior. Um, maybe there's someone that just remembers these little girls and how popular they were on quilts because everybody wanted a sunbonnet Sue. And there is also a sunbonnet Sam. I haven't tried it yet, but you know me, I probably will. We might see that one next. But there she is here in punch art. I just love her so much. But let me show you. Let me show you all the other ones because they're so cute too. All right, so our first sample, this is actually the one I did first. I made a little girl, practiced her, you know, off of the card, and then this is the first one I assembled and felt like it was right. So I want to show you, this one I used the same color scallop for her little bonnet edge and her bonnet hat portion. So it's the same color, but it's not from one piece. It's still two pieces just glued together, and then you can see that she has green and pink. This is a flower flower from the Paige Evan puffy stickers. I thought that was so cute right there. And then you see I mounted her on a little rectangle that I used my punch. Let me show you the punch because you'll love this one. I used this little punch to make those corners. I thought that was super cute. And I embossed all of this with an embossing folder. So that's how that one is. These little guys right here, I'll tell you how I did this in case you want to. Where I have the blue square here, this one I cut a white square and then I cut another pink gingham square and cut that pink gingham square into four. So that gave me four half inch squares. And so I put two on this white square, two on this white square, and the same here. And that way it gave me those little cornerstones, which those have a name and I can't think of what they are. I think they're four patches, I think. I can't remember. So there's those. And then what I thought was my favorite until we did this one <laughs> is this one. Look at this little girl. Look like she's down on the farm. Now she was super fun. Let me point out what I did here. On this one, I made her just like everything else, except I cut out an extra scallop, an extra red scallop, and I just cut four little scallops off and glued it right above the bottom of her skirt. Then I did some white pin, added a little button, and the thing on here, instead of embossing, I'll have to get really close for you to see, I used the meander stamp set and added stitching. You can really see it where the cow print is. And I used the ink color called Lost Shadow to do that because I didn't want it to take away. I just wanted it to kind of feel quilty. And I'll show you what stamp set it was. It was this one right here, our meander set. So you can stamp that on top of all of these and it gives it that stitch look. And then we have one more sample to show you. And this is Shannon's and look how adorable. And she used the Bloom paper pack. So on her little scallop, she cut two of the dresses and just pushed one up to give her that scallop at the bottom, the little... It almost looks like she's wearing an apron kind of, doesn't it? It's really cute. And she did a little string with a bow at the bottom. It's so adorable. Y'all, we could make these all day. I literally could keep making these. They are that fun. And I hope that's what happens for you. I hope that you get into your craft room and you use up every little scrap you got. Wouldn't that be a cute quilt? <laughs> okay, so both worlds are, are colliding right here. But I hope you enjoy our take on Punch Art Sun Bonnet Sue. Now, you know the deal. I want to see them. I want to see them everywhere. I want to see them on our customer gallery. I want to see them on our Facebook group. I cannot wait to see your designs and how you play and how you get something different from everyone. So please be sure to do that. Also, subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed our little sunbonnet suit. Till next time. Bye now. Mm -hmm.